So leaving Chroma behind, we headed out into the wash. It's amazing that in the four hours that we were at sea between Chroma and landfall at the Humber Estuary, this is the only other shipping that we encountered. So what is it, Fee? Um, a clue, man. Looks like someone off Mad Max or Waterworld or Star Wars, I don't know. In fact, it's not something from Star Wars. It's the Bull Sands Fort, built in 1914 to protect the Humber ports from German submarine attacks. It's been derelict now for over 50 years. We're heading up to uh, Hull to get some supplies, get some fuel, get our sat-nav sorted out, get some gas and sort of basically have a wander around, have a look at the place. We're wrapped up like we're on an Arctic expedition. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's gonna be in the mid twenties, but when you're out on the sea, it's still cold. It's still April and uh, we just had to wrap right up hoods, everything to cross, cross the watch basically. Anyway, on the way up to uh, Hull. What I think are really cool are these uh, channel marker boys. They're like little mini light ships, little boats with the boys on them. I guess that's so they can move them up and down the river when they need them, but I've never seen anything like it before. Really cool, really smart little things. It really feels like we shouldn't be here, uh, that we don't belong here. We've been in this estuary for about half an hour now. We haven't seen a single private boat, a single pleasure boat, not even a single fishing boat. We're just commercial docks all the way, big muddy wide river. It, it really feels that we oughtn't to be here. We've got a bit of a problem here at the moment. We've come all the way up the Humber to Hull Marina um, we miscalculated in that we've missed the tide. It looks like we can't get in for another six hours. It looks like their waiting pontoons dried up and it doesn't look like there's anywhere else for us to wait. So we're low on fuel. Um, we don't really know what we're doing at the moment. We're waiting for them to call us back any moment. Hull Marina. Hull Marina, Sharp Bay, over. Yeah, we should screw a few in then, over. Yeah, Sharp Bay, Hull Marina. Hull Marina Shark Bay, over. Yeah, just stand off for a few minutes, about water settle. I'll just empty the full lock, it's been swirling. All right, will do. We just made it in by the skin of our teeth. I really should read my tide tables more carefully. Next morning we left the marina in company with another Sea Line 34 and ran together back to the mouth of the Humber. In fact this turned out to be the only time on our trip that we cruised in company with another motorboat. actually been out on the water with since we left home. We're letting them get away now though. So leaving the Humber, we rounded Spurn Head and continued our voyage northward. <laughs> 